I'm here in Overland Park to open this new exhibit called Mythic Creatures. It's an exhibit which premiered in New York at the American Museum a few years ago. And basically it's a show that kind of explores the relationship between myth and the natural world. The exhibit is a really rich exhibit and it's a combination of recreations of mythical creatures, of artifacts, both historic artifacts as well as contemporary artifacts that really look at how these ideas of myth have been transmitted both within culture as well as within the visual arts. And I think that this exhibit, considering how well it's done other places, people have found that it appeals to just about everybody, all the way from you know, very small children to senior citizens. I mean, I think everyone has found something that they could relate to and something that they enjoyed in the progress of the show. Well, sailors, you know, when they originally started going out on big oceanic voyages, they would see a lot of weird stuff, especially things that they hadn't seen in Northern Europe. Uh, just off, off the coast. One of those things is probably giant squid occasionally. They may see a dead one or that kind of thing. And like all fish stories, they just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So when the, they got home, they told everybody that they'd seen you know, a squid, which you might like, eat in northern France or something, but it was like 100 feet long, and then it ate their ship and that kind of thing. So it just became sort of really much instilled within the whole you know, idea, the scariness of the sea, and part of the, like, the romance of all the sea journeys.